Hello Perfect Beauties, my name is Daisy and welcome to the Acne channel where I cover a topic relating to acne and skincare every Tuesdays and Saturdays, so if you haven't, definitely subscribe to my channel. And today I'm going to be talking about bad chemicals in your skincare ingredients. So as you have noticed, there are a lot of products with bad chemicals in it. So we have now found the bad chemicals, but the next one is preferably one of the worst ones out there. Do -do 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 -do, drum roll, drum roll sound effects, please. Okay, triclosan and triclocarbon. So the story of triclosan goes back to 1978 when the Food and Drug Administration first proposed a regulation that would have prohibited its use in antibacterial soaps. Fast forward nearly 40 years, the FDA still hasn't finalized that rule. In the meantime, the market for antibacterial products has ballooned into a $1 billion a year industry, and triclosan has made its way into the bodies of 75% of the U.S. population. Yeah, it's very promiscuous, okay? Tests have found the chemical in blood, urine, and breast milk. The dangers of triclosan and a related antibacterial chemical tri triclocarbon are many. For starters, it is an endocrine disruptor, meaning it interferes with important hormone functions. Specifically, the chemical disrupt disturbs thyroid, testosterone, and estrogen regulation, which can create a host of issues, including early puberty, poor sperm quality, infertility, obesity, and cancer. Studies have shown that the overuse of microbial chemicals like tri 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 triclosan may also be contributing to antibiotic resistance and bacteria a major public health concern. So at least at least 2 million people in the United States fall sick and about 23,000 of them die from antibiotic resistance infections every year. And this is, might be why I get sick all the time. Like I get sick every time I'm on an airplane, I get really sick. Okay. While all this might be convincing enough to stop using, um, stop you from buying triclosan cont containing soap again, other people will still sell these products and wash them down the drain, after which they enter our waterways and transported far and wide. So even though we have tried to get rid of this ingredient, a lot of top companies use it. And meanwhile, marketing savvy companies understanding the public concern over triclosan have preempted the FDA by removing the chemical ahead of the rules finalization. However, there's just one problem. <laughs> they replace it with another toxic chemical called benzalaconium chloride. The fight against bad chemicals is an unending fight. Thank you all so much for watching the Acne channel where I post a skincare acne related video every Tuesdays and Saturdays. And until next time, let me know what you want me to talk about for any future videos by commenting below. And also tell me what, what have you found in your ingredient list that you didn't know and what ingredient are you going to be watching out for? I'll talk to you guys later. See you next week. Bye. You should know you're